New Mexico just might be one of the most underrated states in the country. We've been road tripping across the whole state and just keep getting surprised with all of the amazing travel destinations and scenery. It seems to be a state that often gets overlooked by travelers. Yesterday we just wrapped up an adventure at White Sands National Park and Pistachio Land and we're eager to keep exploring. Today we're heading to Gila Cliff Dwellings in the southwest region of the state, located 90 minutes from Silver City. This place is somewhat out of the way. There's only one road that leads you to this monument, but trust me, it's worth the visit. These cliff dwellings are awesome. And stay tuned until the end of the video because after this, we're heading to City of Rocks, a really fun hidden gem that we just found out about and we had so much fun here. dwellings and caves so sorry I have my life taken into my hands right now by the driver. Hopefully we make it there alive and we'll take you along. Look at that nice profile though while yeah. you're looking so good. <laughs> As Bree said we're going to Gila National Monument. We've been driving through the National Forest for the last hour or so. Super windy road and there's a sign at the beginning saying it closes at 4 and our ETA has been to 345 so we've been driving a little precariously make sure that we make it because we've driven like six hours out of the way to see this spot. But we're gonna do the Cliff Dwellings Trail. It's 1.1 uh, miles with like 200 feet of elevation gain. So we should be able to finish it and be out by four. Um, but yeah, definitely know that ahead of time. There are hours and it sounds like gates closed and they're pretty strict about it. up we have you can see micro spikes packed because it's icy The cliff dwellings were primarily built in the 1280s. The Pueblo people built the homes purposely into the natural caves in the open. The caves are situated on the south side of the mountain, getting lit up by the sun day in and day out, which is why the north side of the mountain had so much shade where the majority of the hiking trail is keeping some of those remnants of the snow late in the season. While you're visiting, I would encourage you to strike up a conversation with the rangers. They were some of the nicest and most knowledgeable rangers we came across on this New Mexico trip, and they were able to tell us about the history in extreme depth. We have these little ladders around so you can kind of peek your head over and look inside the, the little rooms. Very cool. This is a very, very cool national monument. Extremely underrated. Didn't even hear about it until recently. So right now we're on the trail that's 1.1 miles, 200 feet of gain, super easy trail. It was icy, so even though it's 65 degrees and beautiful, the trail is icy because it's in the shadows. So we didn't use the micro spikes, but always good piece of equipment to have on you. At Gila Cliff Dwellings, there's five naturally eroded alcoves with just over 40 rooms that were constructed from local stone and all of the wooden beams in the dwellings are original. Some of the tree rings date between the year 1260 and the 1280s, and the families who resided here all departed their homes around the year 1300. That was dope. This was so cool. Way above any expectations I have. So that was awesome. Uh, the drive out here takes a while because of the windy roads. It's definitely out of the way from anywhere else you're probably gonna be visiting in New Mexico, but it's definitely worth it, so highly recommend it. We were here for maybe one hour, so it's a quick stop. Now we're going to Silver City, so we have an hour and a half drive. We're gonna stay there for the night, and then tomorrow we're gonna go to City of Rock State Park, so we will take you along for that as well. Made it to Lulu's, our hotel in Silver City. Um, mom and pop, not a chain, and it is an awesome hotel. I am wrecked, Bree is wrecked. You may see it differently. 
on the channel, but we actually did White Sands this morning and a few other places, so we're super tired. So we're gonna sign off for the night and we will carry on in the morning when we go to City of Rock State Park. This is crazy days ahead in the creative process. Absolute legend of a photographer. That's me. I am the myth and the legend. The woman, the myth, the legend. Breezy days ahead, folks. Holy crap, the last few days have been so busy. Every day's had like eight hours of driving and like four destinations, shooting nonstop. We slept like 10 hours. It was amazing, so we're ready to go. Going to City of Rocks. We're just getting absolutely jacked for a quick three minutes before we head out. All right, so, big pull all the way up. are visiting and you have cash, definitely bring it. It's five bucks if, just for the day pass, but you can also camp here. But if not, you can come to the visitor center, which definitely would recommend anyways, because there's a lot of awesome things on the walls and things you can learn about how this city of rocks was formed. So there's a few trails you can do. Between all of the main campsites is just kind of endless trails for wandering through all of the rocks. And then there are a few trails that go around the perimeter of the rock. And then you can hike to the top of Table Mountain to see them from above. We called two days ago to ask if we could fly the drone here. They said no, so I didn't really bother asking in there, but we're just gonna go head out and explore. All right, so when we went in the visitor center to pay, the nice lady gave us this paper that's kind of like a treasure hunt for petroglyphs. There's certain campsites with some, so we're gonna try and walk around and find some. First petroglyph. I don't think we're gonna have time to find all of them, but it's really cool we found one of them at least. When there's a will, there's a way. We might have time. This matches the description. There's nothing in there. Also, they're very, very small. Like the one we just saw is about this big on this huge rock. So it could be this one. We just might be missing it. So we found the second petroglyph. That one was very hard. We walked right past it, definitely hiding in that bush. And it's only like this big, but very, very cool. On to find number three, and then I think we have to start making our way out. It says, take the path to the right past the tree. I'm assuming this is the tree, to the balancing rock. And then continue on the path to the right to the cave-like formation. Continue to the right to the cave-like formation. I think this is it. And then stop at the entrance and look to your right. The petroglyph is on the leaning boulder towards the bottom and is light in color. All right. We just found number three. So petroglyph number three right down there in that sunspot. But there are a few misleading things that kind of look like scratches in the rock, maybe graffiti. Reminder, please don't do that. Okay, so for all of them, it's kind of a weird situation because they're placed at campsites and a lot of people, unless you went into the visitor center, like don't know that this little scavenger hunt is a thing. So they're placed at these campgrounds and it's odd to kind of like be rummaging through looking around someone's tent and shit. Like, I think that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> so that's kind of what we just did, but we didn't find it. Okay, so we couldn't find number four. Number five is across from site 28 at two rocks touching. You're not gonna probably be able to see it, but the cross is on this rock. So we found four of the five petroglyphs, which is sweet. Um, that last one, or the fourth one, I don't know. We just could not find it. All right, so that is going to wrap up this adventure. So Gila Quiff, uh, Quiff, Gila Quiff. <laughs> so yesterday, Gila Cliff Dwellings, for whatever reason, that's very difficult to say. 
were incredible. Super out of the way, but again, so worth it. So definitely make sure to check those out. And then today, City of Rocks. In the summer, this would be an awesome spot to camp at. If you're coming here with a family, this would be the perfect thing. The treasure hunt was awesome. I feel like kids would love it. It's pretty, maybe half the campsites were full, but very low key, kind of seems like an under the radar spot. So it was very cool exploring this. Hope you guys liked it. Check out some of the other New Mexico videos and we will see you later.